You. Yes, you human. I may be a monkey, but I have a mighty story to share. And I'm sure once you hear it, you'll want to help save my home and my family. And your future. I was born in paradise, the primary rainforest in the southern Caribbean coast of Costa Rica. When I was young, something horrible happened to my family. in the Jaguar Rescue Center. <laughs> For three years, I was welcomed into your world, the world of the human. You worked hard to make me healthy and strong. And I became a leader by the time you returned me home. Encar and Sandro were the leaders of the group. Their job was to help humans living in the city understand and respect the natural world. In the evening, set against frosted leaves, I've been drip melting A world that's being threatened by the choices of human beings. Many of my relatives have been killed or badly injured by encounters with power lines, vehicles, falling from trees. Some of my sisters were abducted by humans who wanted to sell them as pets. It was here in the Jaguar Rescue Center that many of us have been cared for and brought back to life. Encar always went to the rescue sites, while I waited at the center. The rescues are made by car. And even by boat sometimes. often made in remote regions of Costa Rica. Doctors were trained with blow darts in case they needed to sedate a wild animal.
On average, the center receives 12 animals a week. I watched operations that helped not only other kinds of monkeys, but other animals, too. Like big cats, sloths, snakes, coyotes, and birds. You're a hard act to follow. I'm a tough pill to swallow. Oh, oh, oh. On average, the veterinary team does four surgeries per week. surgery and rehabilitation, the majority of them were able to be returned back to their natural home in the jungle. After long days in the clinic, we came together, congratulated each other on a job well done, and rested our hearts. Human, you may be wondering how a once little monkey like me was reintroduced back to my home in the rainforest. It was a process that took several years. Day by day, we were taken to the outside world to get reacquainted with our relatives and also our natural home. And one day, we would decide to rejoin our family. And we would never return to the rescue center after we were ready. The time was given like presents One for me and you the wild This is the monkey school in the forest. Silence. May the wish come true I 
don't know why, but it felt good. Just being there feels like home. It was something, something that she said, love is in your life. Love. So much love is in your life So much love is in your life All the time I was held up I forgot to breathe <laughs> Maybe you're also wondering how a mother sloth finds its newborn if it tumbles from a tree and makes its way to the center. It's simple. Its mother can recognize and locate it by its cry. The cries of baby sloths were recorded and played on a speaker to help find the mother and return it to its home, her breast. However, the less fortunates go through a period of adjustments in a tower six meters above the ground. The rope represents the past and the future. Human, why would we animals want a new forest? More and more of us are arriving at the center due to the invasion of humans on our land. We 
need a bigger space that bridges our habitats with national parks and wildlife refuges. Land where we can live free and connected to each other without worrying about human mistakes and harm. The land we want, Laseba, has human owners. If they decide to build there, it will be one more tragic step toward threatening the flourishing of Costa Rica's amazing biodiversity. We want to buy this land to be sure that it's always protected from human influence. I've heard that these humans are willing to exchange this land for something foreign to me, something they call money. So, human, please, I ask your help. On behalf of all the animals of the rainforest, please help us. Your contributions of this money will help this land remain ours. Please, help us continue to live in the great paradise we call Costa Rica. Where all the animals do hide 